it's an ideal fit because we're two state funded bodies. Uh, Lyric uh, concentrates on Irish composers, um, Irish performers, and um, our repertoire is consists of a lot, a lot of Irish uh, composers. And we're, of course, we're, we're the second biggest employer of, of musicians in the state, being the army bands. So it's a perfect fit, and we're delighted to be able to do it. Tell me about the music on the CD. The repertoire is all Irish um, and came from um, a, a lunchtime concert repertoire that we did for, during the Composing the Island series in 2016. And um, it consists of music by A.J. Potter, um, Colonel Fritz Brazzi, who was the first director of the Defence Forces School of Music, um, and T.C. Kelly, and uh, a lot of well-known pieces which would have been arranged from symphonic, uh, from symphony orchestra arrangements for wind band by the composers themselves. So this is a chance to get all of that really good wind band repertoire for over the last 100 years down on one CD. You refer to the first director of the Defence Forces band. What's a day in life like for the band? Busy. <laughs> They're sitting behind me here now. <laughs> um, should ask them. But, you know, uh, I was with uh, bands for about 15 years and um, it, it was just as busy then as it is now. I mean, they, they, if they're not rehearsing in the band hall, they're out. Uh, they could be doing a state engagement. Um, which would be a pr presentation of credentials by an ambassador in Oris Nucron, or a military parade, um, or one of the very big state engagements like a presidential inauguration or the National Day Commemoration, in addition to a very big PR function playing um, in schools, uh, sporting events, local festivals, you name it, they play at it. So they're full on. During 2016, we, we clocked up 500 engagements between three bands, and that is something of a record. And the Defence Forces band or bands are very popular around the country, I know. They are indeed, yes. I mean, they've always been popular. Um, uh, it, when Fritz Brazzi set up the School of Music in 1923, um, his daughter left a lot of personal effects to us um, and we're setting up a mu museum and a number of um, uh, pieces of that were freedom of various towns given to the Colonel when he brought the band around um, to towns and beautiful parchment scrolls like the Book of Kells and when we go around, it's the same response. We get a fantastic response from all of the, the, the local towns and villages that we visit throughout the year. 